If you shave with a cartridge razor, this video is for you. If you're interested in shaving with safety razors instead of cartridge razors, this dramatically lit video is also for you. This video, if you have $10,000 worth of shaving gear in your shave den, this video is not for you. Actually, all my videos are for everybody, but this is gonna be more like talking about using a simple safety razor with some simple products to shave the way your grandpa did and get a great clean shave and economical too. This expen this is not an expensive razor. I think this is what, 30, 50 bucks maybe? This is the Pearl Flexi made in India. Now there is a version of this that costs like 200 bucks. We're not using that one today. We're using this one, a three piece. It could be any razor. It could be a Rockwell like this. It could be a vintage one like this 66 Gillette. It could be 1918 Gillette. This thing's over 100 years old and it still shaves just as well as it did the day it was brand new. Sold in some store somewhere to some gentleman, I'm sure, wearing a dark black suit made out of wool, just sweating. <laughs> That's how I picture it. Maybe he was from someplace cooler than where I live here in Texas. But anyway, so we're just going to shave with some simple stuff. Now let me show you with this razor. Like I said, this is the Pearl Flexi. This is a great razor. It's adjustable which means you can make it either really mild on your skin or really aggressive, which will take more beard whiskers off more quickly, but also you can put you more risk for getting razor burn. Okay, so with this one, this is just the way this one works. It's a two piece, so you unscrew the bottom, which stays in the bottom, which is nice, and the top just comes right off. I love this kind of design, because first of all, you got this long screw thing here. What do you do with that? Well, you take one of these razor blades that you've probably all seen before or are aware of, you can buy them just about anywhere. These are feather blades, which are my preference. Feather. Very sharp. Made in Japan. This thing, made in India. So you just take for this razor in particular, you just take it, slide it right down there. And those funny little shapes in the middle of the razor blade, those funny little shapes are where the guides go. So all the razors have different shape guides, you know, different ways of holding a blade. This one is a very simple one. You just put the top back on and then screw it together. And hopefully I don't slip and cut my finger off because you got to watch out. These razor blades, man, they are sharp. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this one. Since this is adjustable, I'm going to adjust it to a six. Now, not all razors are adjustable. Like this one, the Rockwell I showed earlier. It's just what you see is what you get. You know, you can swap out the plates, but there is no dial to change it. This, uh, the Sinatra Lennon razor that I sell or that is sold with my name on it is not adjustable. What you see is what you get. Now, you can't adjust it. So you just have to find... A razor that feels right to you, to your level of sensitivity of your skin. This one's a great one. You can adjust it from the most mild to the most aggressive. So let's go ahead and shave. First thing you should do, take a shower like I did. I took a shower. I did my hair. I'm getting a sunburn as we speak, but that's okay. At the very least, put some hot water on your face. Go back a couple of videos before where I had this mask you could wear that would, you know, put it in hot water and it would keep your beard and make it soft, you know? Uh, take a shower in a hot shower and that'll soften it up. Or if you just don't have time for that, just splash your face a couple of times with hot water. It's no big deal. You don't have to get super crazy into this sort of hobby if you want to start this hobby. And that's what this video is for. All right. Shaving cream. You've seen them. You've seen them all over the place. Brushes, shaving soaps, all this stuff. I like to use Barbasol. And this is their, uh, their new Jurassic World Dominion, right? Can, looks like it's all rusty. That's what I'm gonna use today. You could use this, you could use Gillette, you could use Nivea, whatever the heck you wanna use. I just prefer Barbasol, I always have. If you watch this channel for any length of time, you'll know, you'll know. All right. So when it comes to safety razors, and like I said, I apologize if this is, if my regular viewers are watching this and are like, why is he talking so simply? It's that sometimes I feel like I need to update you know, I need to talk to the people that just happen to come across this silly channel of mine, you know? Like my first video of, you know, the simple basics of shaving with a safety razor was like 11 years ago now. Not that anything much has changed. I mean, this thing is the same, you know, pretty much. <laughs> wow, look at the difference. Gained a little weight, have you? From the 1918, yeah, people were a lot smaller back then. They didn't have super value size, super size meal. All right, so we got the blade in there. We got it set the way we want it. We got our shaving cream on. We got our beard whiskers slightly softened, or in my case, fairly softened because I took a shower too. And then you just put it against your face. Don't press too hard. This is a heavy razor, by the way. And let the weight of the razor do the work and see how I'm kind of angling it just a little bit. That's so the blade will get those whiskers. 
and do not, the number one thing, and I made this mistake when I first started using a safety razor, although these many years ago, was I pressed too hard and I got razor burn. And you can cut yourself and you can get nicks. Now, the reason why they call it a safety razor is because you ever, have you ever tried to use a straight razor or a shavette? Woo! Those things you really have to think about when you're using them. And they will give you a fantastic shave if you've got a really nicely honed straight razor or a brand new shavette. But for me, I can't hang in that world. I can't do it. I've tried. I gave it a try. I wasn't like a little kid who just automatically rejects broccoli and onions and mushrooms without trying them. But I tried them. I tried them. That just wasn't for me. But I'm glad. If you like it, go for it. That's always been my motto. Use the products that work best for you. Don't worry if they're popular products. Don't worry if they're the newest thing, if they're artisanal. They can be the simplest thing in the world. A can of Barbasol for a buck 28 or a buck 82. Sorry to my, all my foreign uh, viewers who can't get their hands on that, but you can get the, uh, you know, something comparable, probably Nivea in your country or some other brand. And that's all you need. Just a good, sharp safety razor and it doesn't have to be an expensive one. It could be, now I wouldn't go with the dollar store ones. You can find them now at dollar stores, these adjustable razors. And you got the Vanderhagen, you can find those everywhere. I would, I would go with a Vanderhagen. Those are cheap, they're like 20 bucks. It's a good starter. And it's a good way to let you know whether this sort of shaving is for you. As I was discussing, straight razor shaving is not for me. And it's probably not for everybody. In fact, of course, not everything is for everybody, but you know what I mean? <clears throat> I was fortunate enough to have someone, a professional honesmith, send me a straight razor. He stropped it and honed it. I mean, he was talking about down to the micron. And so I had a fantastic tool to use. Before we go into that, let's talk about, we're just done with the first shave. So we're done, right? You can just leave? Yes, you can. You can do that. Perfectly fine. In fact, I do. I have to go take the car into the shop. The alternator's out, but all right. But so I could stop right now. That could be done. But I'm going to do two today. Normally, I do three passes. But I'm only going to do two today. Why? Just because I like to get a really, really smooth shave. But you don't have to. If you came up and gave your grandma a hug, you could give her a hug with this cheek after one pass. And uh, she wouldn't complain. Like, honey. Is that what your grandma sounds like? I don't know. So my, mine sounded like. All right. Second little, just a bit. Not a lot. You don't have to use a lot of this stuff. And if you get the gel that turns into foam... Well, then you can, uh, you can use that too. Like I said, use whatever works best for you. Don't worry about the peer pressure. Don't worry about the, the snobbery. You don't have to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Just do what works best for you. What was I saying? Gosh, I was saying something and I lost track of time because we fit. Oh, straight razors, Holmesmith. Anyway, oh yeah. Get yourself a Vanderhagen safety razor. You know, 20 bucks. See if it's right for you. I, I should have looked up the price on this one. It's like 50 bucks or something like that. There's a lot in that price range. Uh, you can get Mula, which is M-U-H-L-E. There's Merker, M-E-R-K-U-R. These German, these German razor companies, you know? But you gotta be careful. Now I am feeling the blade more because I've made this so aggressive by adjusting it to a six. So I can feel the blade in there. If I adjusted it down to a one, I couldn't feel it at all. But since I've been shaving like this for a long time, I tr kind of trust myself not to slice my cheek open, you know? And I've used the technique, which is really not that hard to learn, of shaving with a safety razor for so long now that I can kind of tell if I'm getting a, loo a little too fast, a little too loose and wild with the, with the shaving. Don't press too hard. Don't talk too much when you're shaving. Uh, I wish, do as I say, not as I do, folks. You ever heard your parents say that? Didn't, didn't that annoy you? All right, I'm going against the green, by the way, in case you didn't notice, I'm going up on my neck this time because your hair grows in all different crazy directions. And if you're new to shaving, if you're just now like a young man getting into it, or even if you're a young woman who needs to learn how to shave your, whatever you're going to shave, legs, armpits, whatever, uh, your hair, learn that your hair grows in different directions. So shaving it from different directions, like I'm doing up now. That gets rid of all those extra little whiskers that I didn't get the first time. And in the end, I've taken my time, I've done the prep, and pre-prep is good. 
just you just need some warm water. You don't necessarily need to have shave oils or beard oils or all those things. If you have them, that's fine. That's great. Use them. But you don't need them. Just some warm water or hot water, whatever you can stand. Get it up there. Not right now. My face is so smooth. And if I did a third pass, I'd just be showing off. And uh, normally I like to do a third pass just because I like to chat. But I do have to go uh, drop the car off. All right. So I'm just getting the little problem areas that I always have, like right underneath my nostrils and right down from my ear to my, you know, Adam's apple, that kind of thing. Then I just wash the razor off and I leave it like that. I'm done. I will use this razor probably four or five times, this blade in here, because it's a really good quality blade. Four to five times, perhaps. If, if it feels like it's getting dull, and you can kind of tell because it'll start to maybe not go through as smoothly and cleanly, which is kind of the hallmark of a safety razor. Like if you're used to getting yanked with a cartridge razor or tugs and like, oh, you're not going to get that with this. It's going to slice through even if you have three, four, five days of growth on your face. All right. Cold water as the final wash on your face because that'll kind of tighten up your skin. It makes you feel a little bit refreshed. And it'll, uh, I think your pores will kind of tighten up a little bit, and that's good. So we discussed the pre-prep, which is just, you know, softening up your whiskers a bit. Give the, give the razor a little chance. Give him some help. But then the post is always, always, and I, I know I never used it before. I never, for years, I shaved in the shower with some, you know, Barbasol and a Mach 3, and then that was it. But you've got to use some aftershave. This is my favorite right now. Buy it anywhere. Cremo. Cooling post-shave balm refreshing mint. This is a lotion, so it's not alcohol-based. Some, and I'll show you in a second, an alcohol-based one. Uh, don't use very much. Just a little bit. So this is a lotion-based, so it doesn't burn. Now, you've seen Home Alone where it does that. That doesn't happen when you use a lotion like this. It does happen if you use an alcohol-based aftershave. Which I'm going to show you now. You certainly don't have to do this, but I just love the scent, so I'm going to use this stuff. So this comes from a company called Captain's Choice, which I use a lot of. This is the Italia. Now this has got alcohol in it. It's got alcohol, witch hazel, the fragrance, and glycerin. So this smells so good. It smells like marzipan. It smells like almonds. A little bit like cherry. Oh, it smells like a sugar cookie almost. Captain's Choice makes some good smelling stuff. So I like to just put a little bit of that on after the mint I just did. And it doesn't burn that time. <laughs> Didn't burn this time. Believe me, if you wanna see me get burned, go back and watch any of those videos where I use Chella Cool or uh, 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 Green, what is it, Osage Rub, yeah. So those, you'll see me do some Kevin McAllister style screaming. All right, everybody, well, that's it. That's kind of a quick, simple, you know, kind of video to let you know that you don't have to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on fancy equipment, you can get a decent shave. Now, this, like I said, this isn't that expensive. Uh, you can get a, you know, a Vander Hagen, you can get these off eBay. This is a vintage Gillette. This costs like 25 bucks and it's, you know, it's still around from 1966, still going strong, still shaves beautifully. Cool thing about this one from Pearl Shaving, it's got a little stand, check that out. Ew. <laughs> Could fall out of my shaking hands if I don't watch out. But that's it. Just kind of a simple, quick, you know, intro to this style of shaving. I apologize to all of my regulars who know all of this stuff, but you'll also understand why I made this video for any newcomers that might come along. And that's it. So have a great weekend, everyone. I will see you all next week with who knows what, something new, hopefully something interesting and entertaining. All right, everybody. Happy shaving.